Worried Meghan Markle and Prince Harry left Halloween party after a devastating phone call. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry both love Halloween, so they wanted to celebrate in style, deciding to party the night away with Princess Eugene and Jack Brooksbank. In October 2016, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry had been dating for about four months and were very much in love. They didn't let the Atlantic Ocean stop them from getting to know each other and both traveled thousands of miles to spend time together. At this point, the relationship was still secret, so most of the early dates took place in private restaurants or at each other's homes, where they knew that they were safer from prying eyes. However, as the relationship grew stronger, they started braving the outside world more and quickly discovered that people in Megan's Canadian town were not that interested. So when it came to Halloween, they both knew they wanted to go out and celebrate, so came up with a plan in their book. Finding Freedom, Royal Reporters Omid Scobie and Caroline Doran say that the couple were having the perfect evening at the Soho House until a phone call ruined everything and changed Megan's life forever. They write, they especially didn't feel like spending Halloween weekend in hiding. As there was much to celebrate some four months into their relationship, they were madly in love and eager to take part in the fun of one of their favorite holidays. The evening of October the 29th, with Harry in town, the couple decided to go to a big costume party being thrown at So House in Toronto. The couple bought Venetian-style masks, which meant they could go about the party anonymously and nobody knew that they were celebrating alongside a prince, Scobie and Dorian Wright. Surrounded by the establishment's exclusive clientele and confident due to a rule that discouraged patrons from surreptitiously snapping pictures with their phones, Harry and Meghan felt at ease. Harry's cousin, Princess Eugene, was also at the party with her now husband, Jack Brooksbank, and the two couples were having a great time until the prince got an ex- unexpected phone call. A newspaper had found out about their relationship and were going to go live with this story the following day. The author write a cocktail or so into the party. They were both feeling relaxed, absorbing the Halloween spirit. It was possibly the perfect night out until they received a call from one of Harris's aides at Kansin and Palace. It wasn't good news. The couple decided to call it a night and went back to Megan's apartment to work out what they were going to do so they were reportedly upset and angry that their secret was out, understanding that the media and fans would quickly be fascinated by their lives, both separately and together. It also meant that their relationship would have to change, as it was now in the public eye. Harris's team wanted him to cut his holiday short and to return to London to deal with the developing story, but he was not having any of that. He decided to stay in Canada by Meghan's side to support her through the frenzy. Prince Harry furious, he and Meghan Markle were shunted aside in final royal engagement. Prince Harry was furious after seeing he and Meghan Markle were to be so graphically shunted aside at their last public royal engagement, a royal author has claimed. Prince Harry was angry after he had been informed that he and Meghan would not take part in the procession at the Commonwealth Day service, royal author Robert Lacey has claimed. The author reported in his book, Battle of Brothers, how the Sussexes had been shunned from the traditional procession which sees senior royals following the Queen through the aisle of Westminster Abbey before the start of the service. Hours before the event was to take place, Kate and Prince William, on the other hand, were still scheduled to wait for the Queen's arrival at the Abbey and follow her to their seats rather than being quietly escorted there alone by aides. This decision, Mr. Lacey noted, would have made the different statuses enjoyed by the heir William and the spare Harry more evident to the public. He wrote, when Harry heard that he and Meghan were to be so graphically shunted aside on this final appearance, he was furious. The sub Servience of a spare, one of the basic reasons for this very sad parting of the ways, could not have been more strikingly illustrated. The Duke of Cambridge, however, chained these plans last minute and agreed on entering the Abbey with Kate shortly after his brother and sister-in-law. Mr. Lacey wrote, The phone lines have hummed over the preceding weekend. The service was on a Monday afternoon. Unfortunately, Prince William had more sense than his underlings he and Kate would be quite happy. He dis- declared to skip the procession and to take their places without ceremony in the congregation alongside Harry and Uncle Edward. The exclusion of Harry and Meghan from the lineup 
and the upset it created was discussed also by Finding Freedoms' author Ahmed Skirby and Caroline Duran. The royal experts wrote in their book the decision had been made without their consultation and they were informed long after the 2,000 orders of service had been printed for guests with the names notably absent. This year it will be just the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall walking through the Abbey with the monarch. It felt intentional. Harry was more than disappointed, a friend said. He spoke up but the damage had already been done. A source close to the Sussexes also reported in the book saying it should have been the one public moment where the royal family put their arms around the couple for a show of support. They purposefully chose not to put them in the procession and not to be welcoming. It was the most unpleasant. Prince Harry Meghan Markle News Commonwealth Day Service Duke Duchess Sussex At the time Buckingham Palace said there was no set format for the event suggesting that lineup could change every year just minutes before the Royals arrived at Westminster Abbey Royal commentator Rebecca English broke the news that the Cambridges and Sussexes would not take part in the Queen's procession. She wrote on Twitter, confirmed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will not be part of the Queen's procession through the Westminster Abbey at the start of the Commonwealth service as they make their final official appearance as senior royals. Harry and Meghan are joining the Queen, the Prince of Wales, the Duchess of Cornwall and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge as they carry out their last public royal duty just before they step down as senior working royals. But unlike last year, Harry and Meghan will be conducted to their seats rather than waiting for the Queen's arrival and walking through the Abbey with the monarch and other senior royals. In March 2019, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge waited together with Prince Charles for the Queen to arrive before joining the procession. On that day, the three couples were seen chatting. Meghan and Charles were even spotted sharing a laugh ahead of the beginning of the ceremony. In March 2020, on the other hand, the Sussexes and the Cambridges exchanged only a few nods and words to greet each other. Meghan Markle, Prince Harry kept Archie's godparents secret, irking Prince William. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry stirred chaos last year when they broke the royal tradition, choosing not to announce the names of their son Archie's godparents publicly. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex not only received severe criticism for keeping the service and details surrounding it private, they also made Prince William confused and unhappy about it. Royal author, an expert of Battle of Brothers, Robert Lacey's claim that the Duke of Cambridge was confused and unhappy about Prince Harry's decision to keep Archie's godparents' secret. According to a report by The Sun, Prince William and Kate Middleton followed the royal rule book when it came to their children. However, Meghan and Harry had different ideas, especially when it came to Archie's christening. Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor, born in May 2019, was christened at the private chapel in Windsor Castle in July 2019. The report says rather than Inviting photographers to stand outside the chapel, Meghan and Harry made the entire day private and instead released some of their own pictures. Traditionally, all members of the British royal family have got parents and they're referred to as sponsors, according to Lacey. Writes, secret sponsor has a dodgy sound to it and it is an ingredient of Britain's representative monarchy that the people should have the right to know who's giving moral guidance to their possible future king or queen. According to reports, the royal babies tend to have around six Godparents and their rumors that Meghan and Harry had picked Tiggy Pettifer, Harry's good friend Mark Dyer, and another pal Charlie Went Strobensi as Archie's godparents. However, the royal couple have not confirmed these reports.